there are general statements or there are words I share with my daughters, um, coded language, right? So when they say they, or when they say thugs, you know what, what people are saying, um, reading in between the lines. So in this particular instance, uh, the words were said, uh, you won't make it here, you guys never do. I was blessed to go to uh, Lehigh University, which is a small liberal arts uh, university in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Um, schooled or housed very uh, wealthy individuals. And you know, I, I didn't come from that, that type of wealth, but I remember being challenged in particular by one student um, who basically said I, I, I didn't belong there. But I remembered who, who I was, as my father used to always say, know who you are, know where you come from. And I knew why I was there and I knew it had to do a lot with about the shoulders that I stood on. William Still, who was known as the father of the Underground Railroad, is my great, great, great grand uncle on my father's side. This church is actually part of the Underground Railroad. They used these floorboards as storage and a safe house for slaves as they were on their journey to freedom. You know, if you look at our history uh, in the United States, you look at racism in the United States, black people have always been seen as outcast or less than, or, you know, over to, over to the side. You know, you look at segregation and, and white bathrooms or white restaurants and black bathrooms or black restaurants. So to not feel wanted or to not feel like you're a part of or to not be accepted just solely based off of the color of your skin, a lot of people have felt like America or maybe this society does not want us here or that you don't have the skill set or the qualities to belong. I like to have honest and open conversations with my daughters and I want to instill in them the importance of knowing your history and knowing your legacy and knowing who you are and all of the things that our family has stood on and by over the years and what we have done as a family and to have a sense of pride in that and to know and to tell them that they belong. They belong in our world, they belong where they are and any room that they go in and any place that they go in this world, they certainly belong.